There's no need for the sarcasm. Jeez. All right, I'm recording again. I can't help it if I'm. Okay, he's he's recording. I can't help again if I'm a god in bed. <laughs> yeah, don't. Um... Okay, this goes in the commentary. Okay, starting at <laughs> three, you. two, one. All right. Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a match between uh, Bisu and Jalizer again. I think it's going to be a really interesting one. There's a lot of story here. First of all, Bisu and July used to be teammates, and also I believe in their last meeting, uh, really I felt like Jalizer handled Bisu fairly well. Looks like Bisu is going to be starting in the upper right hand corner. Purple, I uh, couldn't spit that out for a second. Purple, bottom left corner we have Jalizer, which it looks like on the mini map is either yellow or white. We'll see in a second. And the map is Blue Storm. Yeah, wow, um, what a great matchup. A, a lot of people have been talking for a lot of time about which of these two players would be the better player. I think we're not really getting the best of this matchup that we could have gotten since Bisu has supposedly been in a little bit of a mini slump. But nevertheless, I expect this to be an exciting map, uh, exciting match. And July has uh, actually handled Bisu quite well. He has actually defeated him in the past. Uh, and, and I think that July's Zerg versus Protoss is something that's quite quite stunning to watch. And Bisu obviously having the best Protoss versus Zerg in the game. And Bisu just setting up the pylon outside his natural expo. So it looks like he might be going for a fast forge into fast expand here uh, and just scouting and, and I think this is going to be an epic matchup between these two guys because it is blue storm uh, and I'm interested in seeing what sort of strategies both players come up with uh, on, on this map to, to counter each other um, and whether or not Bisu can regain some of that form I mean he's, he's played he's played a couple of decent games recently um, the question is how how is he going to do against someone who looks like an informed July yeah there's a lot of psychology going into this too it looks like uh, July's are putting down uh, that, that early spawning pool, so gonna go, obviously, <coughs> a couple Zerglings to start to try to chase that probe off. But yeah, a lot of psychology in this game, because Bisu obviously just lost to, uh, to uh, I was about to say July Zerg, Jadong. Uh, also an extractor going down for July Zerg, so it looks like July Zerg might be going for some speed upgraded Zerglings, or maybe a very, uh, I would be surprised if he wanted to do a really fast two hatch build. But look, yeah, it looks like he's just gonna go straight Zergling attack here. Um, actually, I'm not sure, he didn't put that spawning pool at the, at the better gas mining position, so we'll see here in a second. Um, yeah, starting, let's see, I guess it's going to depend on, yeah, I, I'm actually going to call the Zerglings right here, he's starting to mine gas, probably just going to get a little bit of gas so he can speed upgrade and then uh, shove it in. And we'll see if that works, because uh, obviously Bisu in a good position to defend his front, uh, probably just going to put two cans down, and I, I think the question is, is how effective will Bisu be using that probe out in the field? Uh, Zerglings come in here just a second uh, uh, to harass and to kind of block those corridors as Shalai goes down the field, and yeah, upgrade, he's got this enough gas for the speed upgrade, so it's coming here in a second. And next is going down first, uh, interesting, from Bisu, so uh, really going to have to rely on a little bit of a blockade from that probe, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah it's interesting to see Bisu having seen exactly what July is doing, still having the confidence to put that Nexus down first rather than investing in, in the photon cannons. And, and if he can defend successfully here, it'll really pay off for him. July's already got those Zerglings out, and basically Bisu's just going to rely on that probe to try and slow July down through that gap uh, for, for a millisecond. July chasing that that probe around, and I don't think if that's such a great idea. The other thing, the other problem is July hasn't built that hatchery yet. He's probably going to try and build it now, and I, I'm not sure why he's leaving, I, I guess he, he's committed himself to these Zerglings, I guess he was worried that maybe there might be some sort of a rush coming from Bisu or whatever, but at the moment, B July seems to have played directly into Bisu's hands with his choice of strategy, because Bisu is, is far ahead, is going to be far ahead economically now, and, and July is only now finding out what his opponent is doing, so I guess July kind of went for the early spawning pool, almost in anticipation of, of something that didn't happen for his opponent, and, and I think what July really needs to do is get that layer up ASAP to compensate, and get some air going, uh, and get his air up, uh, and use the tech advantage before Bisu can actually get a year of his own. Because July has produced those Zerglings, but all he's, all he's done is used to block them. He's made no attempt whatsoever to go for his opponent's base. And and uh, I have to say, that's a little bit perplexing. Um, it'll be interesting whether or not it pays out for him. And he's, he's putting out a Hydra stand now, so that's that's an interesting move. I thought he would have gone for the lair, but it looks like he's decided that even that's going to be too long. So it looks like July is going to try and catch um, Bisu by surprise with those Hydra lists. And Bisu is obviously not going to anticipate the Hydra lists. I think Bisu is probably going to think... Uh, what I was saying is that he's basically going to think that July, having seen Beast was blocked up and having seen Beast got the early economic advantage, uh, would go for Mutilus. I mean, do you feel that that's what Beast uh, is going to be led to believe, and that's why July is straight away gone for the Hydra stand? What? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that's what's going to be. He's going to be led to believe, and it's very interesting. I think that's clever uh, by July Zerg. Uh, initially, went down to go take down that scout. I think with those uh, that initial Zergman push, and then now that Beast is in the dark, uh, going to go and continue with his Hydra list push. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was expecting him to go layer as well. Uh, going to try to send out another probe, but as you can see, Jalizerk has a lot of uh, Zerglings out in the field, has them speed upgraded so we can deny that information to Bisu, he's going to catch that uh, probe before it goes out in the open, and 
the meantime, uh, Jalizer <clears throat> also got, as you can see, he got he has the information. He has uh, that Overlord just sitting over uh, over Bisu spawn. Obviously, going to lose that Overlord when he sees Corsairs. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I was, I was still surprised by that. That uh, instead of really pushing with any sort, of, I, I, really, it, it's really difficult to catch uh, a Protoss opponent off guard. Um, that obviously, going down, putting the next the ugh, can't talk all of a sudden. Putting the Nexus down first, then putting the cannon. Uh, most of the time, you're okay. And wow, look at the Zerglings on the map. Yeah, he really wants to deny the scout. And uh, yeah, Stargate, Nautilizer trying to pull that Overlord out. Bisu is going to be totally in the dark. He has no idea what's coming. And it looks like a, a nice uh, Hydralis group coming out. So we're going to see a very early Hydralis push out of uh, July. And let's see if it's going to be enough to break down that front door. Or yeah, I think J July is playing a very smart game here. He's allowed his opponent. Um, I thought initially, uh, well, I guess I, I don't know how fa how fair it is to say that he's played the really smart game, whether or not it was all about denying the scout, getting those speed upgraded Zerlings first. I think he, he didn't really he didn't really need to have that as early as he did in order to be able to deny the scout. He, he could have still had a slightly better economy had he put that hatchery up a little bit earlier instead of investing all the resources that he needed in getting those speed upgraded Zerlings, and he would have been able to make this push that he's now about to make a little bit earlier. That being said, Bisu probably has because he's been denied so. so much scouting information, probably is not going to have enough photon cannons, uh, I would feel, to defend against this. He's only got about three photon cannons and a single Dragoon, uh, so he's got he's building four photon cannons, and plus those photon cannons are a little bit spread out. July is not only, and, and the other thing is Beast is getting his Templar archives up, so July needs to attack quickly before that first Dark Templar pops out. I'm I'm not sure if July is going to have the uh, speed upgrade on his overlords as well, considering how invested he is in this attack. So July has a very small window of opportunity here. He needs to catch Bisu out quickly. And then Bisu with the Corsairs is not going to see the couple of Hydras coming. July is committing himself to the attack. Look at those. The Hydras are only in range from one Photon Cannon. So he takes that Photon Cannon down very comfortably. Bisu is still nowhere near being able to get that Dark Templar out. He's lost, lost a second Photon Cannon. So July really picking through Bisu's uh, offenses here, using the Zerglings to shield the Hydras. And now he's picking away that Forge as well. And, uh, and now the Corsairs are going to try and take that, that Overlord down. And July is going to be in huge trouble once that Overlord goes because all Bisu needs now. Bisu only Bisu needs now that he's taken that Overlord down. He needs to get that Dark Templar out, and he has got that gateway in his main, which will allow him to produce the Dark Templar. So it's just a question of how much damage July can do to Bisu's economy before uh, July before Bisu can get that Dark Templar out. But that gateway is going to go down as well. So Bisu in a little bit of trouble. Even if he can get those Dark Templar out, July should be able to defend his main because Bisu is in a huge amount of trouble now. And Bisu losing a lot of his economy. He's those Photon Cannons just he just completely ca caught off guard again and again. Maybe this is a question of Bisu's game sense, or maybe it's just July's superior. Superior um, tactical sense in denying Bisu the information, and that second gateway is going to go down as well. Digit, it looks like July has this in the bag. Wow, yeah, July definitely has this in the bag. That's incredible. And uh, oh wow, we got a pause here. Uh, looks like Bisu has disconnected. Uh, either because of land or maybe force quit, who knows? But he has disconnected, and we've got a, a time run down now. Uh, just as the second gateway went down, and Jalizer basically had the win. Uh, it, it was his victory right there, as you can see. Bisu looking very frustrated. Uh, wow, I guess we'll see what happens in a second. Uh, did you hear anything just about this to, ahead of time, Klaas, to, to know what's going on? Just to jump in here real <laughs> quick. Looks like uh, actually... we got Moltrap. Yeah, j jump in here real quick. Um, um, Bisu's computer, his StarCraft just crashed, crashed out to Windows. That's what just happened. Wow. Alt-QQ, my friends. I think that was a frustrating alt, an alt QQ of frustration by Bisu. I think he was mad at himself. I don't know. I suppose it's a very serious accusation to level at a, at a pro player like Bisu. But I think the timing of it was just far too convenient for me anyway. What do you think, uh, Diggity? Yeah, that's pretty convenient timing. Uh, if, if it was in fact an accident, talk about a miracle. But uh, honestly, I would give the game to Jalizerg anyway. It's pretty obvious that he uh, had won at that point. Unless uh, a Dark Templar, even if a single Dark Templar was, <coughs> was created right there. I don't think that Bisu would have been able to defend his base. Honestly, I think he would have been hard-pressed even if he got a Dark Templar out uh, to defend his base, or to take back the game at that point. Um, yeah, but still, let's, I guess, talk about the game that happened at hand. That was, I really um, like that strategy from Jalizer. Denied a scout. I know that's something Savior been wanting to do. Go ahead, uh, Moltrap. Yeah, just to um, <laughs> save you guys uh, tons of time watching them discuss this for a while, uh, I, 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 was, I actually thought at first, too, that he might have all QQ'd um, I'm not sure, but they also they have cameras viewing their screens, so they would have been able to check that, I think. Anyways, they discuss it for a while, and uh, basically they end up calling the game in July's favor because normally they would, if some technical problems have happened, they would start a rematch, but they, the uh, Kespa officials agreed that there was no way that Bisu could have won that game at that point, and uh, they go back to the replay later, and maybe you can edit the video to show this, but... Um, his Dark Templar was literally about a second and a half from popping out of that gateway when his second gateway died, and uh, 
didn't come out, uh, so they, they called the game for in July's favor after a while. Wow. Pretty crazy match here. And they they never yeah, consulted either sense. player on the rematch. They just they just said okay July wins. Interesting. Wow. Bisu yeah, I, th I don't think Bisu can have much. Uh, yeah, I don't think Bisu can have much cause for complaint there. But Diggity, I want to ask you about the strategy of July's. Um, the speedlings definitely denied the scout. That was a good move. Uh, and obviously, when he actually went for the attack, the speedlings helped a lot. Um, but how much did he really need to commit for that? If he was going to go for a push, the way he did, would he would he have been able to work it better if he had gone for the hatchery a little bit earlier, um, the second hatchery a little bit earlier, because it would have bolstered his economy a little bit more, or you know, instead of going for, for his spawning pool so early, gone for his spawning pool a little bit later, uh, that would have allowed him to. Get his hardest push out perhaps a little bit earlier. Do you feel, or do you feel that his timing was just perfect in every way? Uh, honestly, I feel like well, it worked. Obviously, so I'll say uh, he could have timed it a little better. I honestly don't think he needed to uh, uh, worry about that. I don't think he needed to worry about that scout uh, that early. And honestly, with the speed upgrade, I think he could have probably taken down uh, Bisu's scout with just four. But I'm not sure that that would have caused Bisu to put down a second cannon uh, and really kind of pull some pro. He had two probes defending at the front door and really put uh, Bisu kind of in that defensive mindset. <clears throat> uh, with the six, it really looked like he was thinking about just trying to break down the front door with zerglings. Uh, uh, and I think Bisu might have actually had, I, I know that he probably had either the impression that he was going for Lair and Mutalisk, or maybe just a, th a really quick three hatchery, uh, I, I don't know if he would have had time actually for three hatchery, but, uh, but basically a big Ling dump. Um, which probably would have been easy to defend. But <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, I think this is what Savior's been trying to do for quite a while, because we've seen him do this quite often, go the 9 pool first, um, and go speed upgrade, or 9 pool, 12 pool, go speed upgrade uh, at that point, and try to deny a scout. So uh, July Zerg, I guess, showing how it's done. Yeah, July executed his strategy perfectly, and it almost looks, the more I think, the more I think about it, the more it looks like this build was designed perfectly, specifically to counter Bisu's strategy of... Um, going, you know, for Corsair Templar and getting that fast expansion up first of all and then going into Corsair Templar and, and Bisu is arguing with the cast <laughs> official there, he looks very unhappy about what's going on. But it, it yeah, and I don't, I think he's probably been told what their decision is going to be and he's just not keen on it. But it just looks like the perfect way to, to counter Bisu's t strategy because if you look at it, it looks like Bisu's um, attack came right in time uh, to the point where Bisu would have had the minimal amount of defenses where he's only got his uh, one gateway producing, he's got a handful of photon cannons. By denying the scout, he's prevented Bisu from wanting to produce more units early on. The other thing is, if you look at the psychology of it, I think what July has done is he led, he lulled Bisu into a for false sense of security because he, he, he let Bisu think, I mean, if you're Bisu watch, playing that game, you go, okay, the Zerg player has gone for <clears throat> a fast nine pool, and I am now miles ahead economically. He can't touch me. Uh, all I have to do is uh, hold off his mid-game push or hold off his... <coughs> excuse me, Mutilus, and he's going to be behind in, in that tech anyway because of the fact that he's invested so much in those early lings. So, you, you know, I, I can pretty much relax, and it looks like that's exactly what Bisu did. And, and it seems to me that this is a specific build that I think July practiced uh, probably offline with his, with his teammates, specifically for the, the build of Bisu's, because just the timing of it, the, the time Bisu, July's units arrived, they couldn't have arrived at a better time. And you can see Bisu frantically putting those, those photon cannons down, and, and I guess Yes, that's the value of the pro uh, of denying the scout. Yeah, definitely huge advantage here, and I think it's uh, it's also again a, l a large degree psychological because ninety percent of the time, I think what's expected is is that third hatchery most of the time, uh, especially against the abusive type build. That's at least been what's been popular to this point, and this is definitely I'm not going to say it, a total shift from convention. Uh, obviously, very wow, well, we're going to see that uh, at least on my screen. We're seeing the Dark Templar just about to warp in. Yeah, there is no way. It did yeah, not exactly. Have a so there was no way Bisu um, could have done anything in that game. So, but yeah, that the timing was absolutely beautiful, and it hit uh, Bisu right at his weakest point uh, with just, yeah, the perfect unit combination that he needed to, only a single dragon uh, out, I don't think uh, that a single zealot or uh, two zealots would have helped him out there against that. Uh, really, yeah, going into that build, this looks like a, a very effective counter. Do you think um, Bisu's become too predictable then? Because I yeah, think that the build of July 
I think the build July went for um, would be so vulnerable against almost any other decent build if, if a Protoss didn't fast expand or whatever, uh, or even if they did fast expand, it could still be exposed as very vulnerable. All they have to do is hold off against that first push with a few more photon cannons. The other thing is, in Blue Storm, it does look like the, the first of all, the ramp does give the Hydralis a little bit of an advantage because they, it gives them more sight. Some of them can almost hit that gateway or the forge almost from that ramp. And, and it does look like the Protoss basement po position is such, and I've seen it a few times, that only one or two photon cannons are in play at any time versus the Hydralis, and I think that's one of the factors in this map. Yeah, it's really hard to place your cannons where you're defending, well, basically defending that outward gateway and uh, making sure that Zerglings aren't just going to uh, kind of slip through and make it all the way into your main. <coughs> so, I, I, yeah, that definitely plays a factor there. Um, wow. But yeah, Hydralisks taken down the front, and uh, yeah, I think any other, I, I think if Bisu had gone with pretty much any other build out of that, it would have been, uh, if instead to gate I don't know. There's a lot of things that Bisu could have done to win this match, and I definitely think he has become very predictable. Not just in his versus uh, Zerg matchup, but also in his uh, versus Terran matchup. Um, yeah, he'll almost always go that early observer, get the observers to kind of deal with the mines, and then just push out from there, uh, do the standard Reaver harass. And, <clears throat> and uh, I'm not sure that we actually saw that against Zelos, but but prior to that, uh, we've seen that just as a straight streak. And I wonder if this is going to give Bisu pause for thought to maybe uh, mix his game up a little bit. People realize what he's doing now. Uh, they're starting to develop specific counters to him. And yeah, that's kind of when you see a player go into a slump. Yeah, I'm, I just want to finish off uh, in, in my comments and what I had to say, but um, the last thing I wanted to ask you before I did give my concluding thoughts on it is, uh, do you think that was, I, I mean, I, that's the impression I got, that that whole build from July was deliberate from from start to finish, or do you think there was some adaptation there? Oh, it looks like July's being told, no, maybe we should replay, and July's objecting to it, and saying, I had that game, folks, I had that game, um, you mofo. Jul <laughs> July's just going to stand up and give the, the Kespa guy a beatdown, because the Kespa guy doesn't look like, uh, July looks like Tony Soprano they're towering over some uh, some civilian but uh, anyway uh, do, do you think that that whole build from July was deliberate from start to finish oh yeah definitely from from start to finish and you can tell it was timed out uh, specifically for that and it, and I think it rotated a lot on denying that scout you saw him put those that are going out like just in a nice uh, blockade across the middle of the map. He didn't want Bisu getting anywhere near his main to see what he was what he was doing. And uh, I know I've said it a billion times, but you want to beat Bisu, you deny the scout. Uh, that's true of a lot of top players, but especially Bisu, you're not going to beat him unless you put him in the dark. Right. Um, if th I, I gotta agree with you. And uh, in conclusion, what I would say is. Um, this is evolution at work. You adapt or you die, and uh, Beast was going to have to adapt here, or he's gone on the way as far as his predictability goes, at least. Um, so this is Klaus Art. Um, uh, I'm going to leave it to Diggity to finish up. Actually, yeah, I have no other thoughts. Uh, thanks for listening, guys.